Hello and welcome our blood viewers to RTD's News English Edition. As usual, we bring to you the major and top highlights of tonight. Like the capital celebration of the great festival of Eid al-Adha in the interior regions. And on the international scene, the captain of the French team, Kylian Mbappe, calls on young people to vote against the far right in France. Those were the major and top highlights. Welcome back to our newsroom, our blood viewers. The President of the Republic, His Excellency Mr. Ismail Omar Gilleh, uh, <coughs> receives these days, as always, in the period of Eid al-Adha, best wishes from his Muslim heads of state and government counterparts. May Eid al-Adha serve as an additional dynamic to the very high ethic of communion, solidarity, and frontierity, characterizing the Jewishian people. It is written in some of these telegrams from Muslim leaders. Some of the telegrams from Muslim leaders read, we look forward to rapid and widespread development throughout the Muslim world. On the sidelines of Hajj activities, the Minister of Transport and Logistics Services, Mr. Sadeh al Jasser, met today in Mina with the Minister of Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Mr. Mumin Hassan Bere. Discussions focused on strengthening frontier relations between the two countries. The meeting was attended by the Djiboutian Consul in Jeddah, Mr. Ali Musa, and the Director of Islamic Affairs, Head of the Djiboutian Pilgrims Missions, Mr. Ismail Hassan. During the visit, the Saudi Minister informed the Minister of Endowments of the enormous logistical services supervised throughout the Hajj season and the significant development in this virtual sector from the arrival at Saudi airports to the final point in the holy sites. Logistical services are considered a virtual sector for facilitating the pilgrims' work and have greatly contributed to ensuring the smooth and safe transport of about 2 million pilgrims during their movements between the holy sites in Mecca, Mina and Arafat. The Minister of Islamic Affairs praised the Kingdom's efforts to organize the Hajj and work to ensure the comfort and safety of the pilgrims he also commended the observed development in the transport and logistics center sector in light of the scale of the event. Yesterday, the religious holiday of Eid al-Adha was celebrated in Tajurrah, the White City, as everywhere else in Muslim countries. In a festive atmosphere, the commemorative festivities began early in the morning with the traditional large collection eight player held at the specially arranged site. The city's prefect, Mr. Muhammad Hummad, the president of the regional council, and the sultan of Tajurrah and numerous faithful attended in large numbers. <laughs> Following the prayer, the city's prefect, Mr. Muhammad Hamad, organized the traditional reception at his residence with the participation of civil and military personalities as well as many Tajurian people. <laughs> Islam 
أحسن وأنا أحسن في يوم مبارك مبارك في نير يا معاي نير يا معاي في نير يا معاي Similarly in Hayu, the residents of Obokh celebrated Eid al-Adha with great pomp. The 27 June square was overrun by happy, faithful, and eager to participate in this major event, marking one of Islam's most important holidays. Local authorities, including the city's prefect, Mr. Musa Adam Migane, the president of the regional council, Mr. Muhammad Hamad Ismail, the region's deputy, Mr. Kamil Hamad Ahmed, along with civil, military, and religious personalities of the city, and thousands of ordinary citizens took part in the large collective Eid prayer at the distant site. On this occasion, the Imam called in his sermon to imbue oneself with the values of solidarity and forgiveness by visiting relatives and maintaining familial ties, which hold an important place in our religion, urging the promotion of tolerance, values, and spreading joy on this blessed day. أيها المؤمنون الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر والله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر ولله الحمد أيها المسلمون اتقوا الله تعالى واشكروه على أن هداكم للإسلام after the prayer, the region's prefect, Mr. Musa Adam Migani, organized a reception at his residence where civil and military personalities, customary chiefs, parliament ulamas, and other guests gathered in moments of conviviality around the famous morning Eid dish Ambabur. This was done in an atmosphere of reunion and joy. <laughs> The Asa jokes, like Muslim worldwide, celebrated yesterday the first day of Eid al-Adha. From the early hours of dawn, the faithful began to flock to the specially arranged site to welcome the sunrise of this blessed day with invocations and praises exalting Allah in accordance with the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. In the spirit of joy and solidarity, symptomatic of the values of sharing and communion, they are always attached to. The inhabitants of Ali Sabih welcomed the holy day. They early performed the collective Eid prayer in the open air at specially arranged sites, as in the capital, the Imams also prayed for our Palestinian brothers who live in a very difficult condition due to the Zionist aggression against Gaza and all the occupied territories, emphasizing that the Muslim nation must support this defenseless people facing genocide.
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله أكبر كبيرة والحمد لله كثيرة وسبحان الله وبحمده الأكبر يوم عيد الأضحى وهو من أعظم الأيام عند الله تعالى قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم Following the prayer, the Prefect of Ali Sibih, Mr. Abdul Malik Muhammad Bonita, offered his citizens a reception where they engaged in the other rites of the holiday, including reunions around heavy meals. Exchanging news and wishing each other well, this reception saw the participation of the President of the Regional Council, Mr. Shermanki Hassan Alale, the region's honorable deputies, civil and military personalities, and many residents of Ali Sibih. <laughs> In an atmosphere of popular joy and serenity, the Eid al-Adha holiday was celebrated in Dakhil. The commemorative festivities began early in the morning with the large collective Eid prayer held at the specially arranged site. The smiles of children in new clothes were seen everywhere in the streets. As tradition, uh, the holiday was also marked by visits between families, relatives, neighbors, and friends. Local authorities and a crowd of faithful from Dakhil participated in the large collective Eid prayer. The head of state addressed the nation Monday evening on the eve of the Eid al-Adha commemoration, expressing his best wishes to all Djiburians. Following this, the Prefect of Dakhil organized a reception for all Dakhil residents. The atmosphere was at speak with the presence of the President of the Regional Council, civil and military personalities of the region, notables and ordinary citizens who came to celebrate this religious holiday. Ain't 
And last but not least, the Arta region and its sub-regions resonated with the rhythm of Eid al-Adha celebrations. A day marked by joy, solidarity, and religious fervor, residents gathered to pay tribute to Ibrahim's sacrifice and share moments of brotherhood. The main square saw a record turnout for the morning prayer where the Imam reminded the value of humanity, humility, generosity, and compassion embodied by Eid al-Adha. In Arta itself, the streets were uh, lively from dawn with the comics and goings of faithful dressed in their finest traditional clothes. In each sub-region, family sacrificed animals according to tradition, sharing them meat with relatives, neighbors, and the less fortunate. Children fully enjoyed the day, sporting radiant smiles and exchanging symbolic gifts. <laughs> اتقوا الله في النساء فإنكم أخذتموهن بأمانة الله واستحللتم فروجهن بكلمة الله وإن لكم عليهن ألا يوضئن فروشكم أحدا تكرهونه As usual in Arta, Eid al-Adha was marked by the traditional reception at the prefect's residence.
As part of the Eid al-Adha festivities, fairs were organized yesterday in the CDCs of the PK12 and Wahli Dab neighborhoods for the youth of these neighborhoods. On the occasion of Eid al-Adha indeed, on this festive day, the premises and surroundings of the CDCs of PK12 and Wahli Dab welcomed influential local personalities, dozens of joyful young people and children, parents in a festive and convivial atmosphere under the supervision of CDC directors and facilitators. The youth and children enjoyed games and a variety of entertaining activities, including bouncy castles and trampolines, offering an opportunity to thrive, get to know each other, and play together. All in a spirit of solidarity and sharing, especially uh, since this fair is organized for the third consecutive year during the two eats, amplify the preparatory festive uh, evenings for the commemoration, commemoration celebration of the 47th anniversary of national independence in 10 days. During this hot summer period when the heat remains unbearable in the cities, many of our fellow citizens flee the capital to the hinterland or neighboring countries to spend their vacation in cooler regions. Recently, we have noticed with great attention that most of our fellow citizens from the capital are taking the route to Lak Asal, the road from Tajara to Balho, to go to neighboring Ethiopia. Indeed, the elderly women and children constitute the main users of the road during this heat wave period. Therefore, drivers are asked to exercise their sense of responsibility and must imperatively limit overloading and speeding on the road to avoid potential tragedies. Many accidents have unfortunately occurred on this route, causing a loss of human lives. The northern corridor of the national route leading to Balho and the R9 to Lake Asal sees the National Gendarmerie playing a decisive role throughout the corridor. Additionally, the border police ensure strict control daily on the corridor and conduct through searches of people and vehicles. The medical team in the region remains mobilized for any potential accidents. During the last youth conference debate, several recommendations were made to improve sports infrastructure in popular, uh, popular neighborhoods. In response to these suggestions, the state secretary for sports took immediate and concrete measures to meet the expectations of the youth. A technical team was dispatched on site to install new goalposts on various football fields, particularly in neighborhoods where they were lacking or worn out. This initiative aims to provide quality sports facilities to the youth and encourage the practice of sports in optimal conditions. Shifting gears now to the regional news, well, all over Somalia, great celebrations have been taking place since the first day of Eid al-Adha. The celebrations began at the Islamic Union Mosque, where the Eid al-Adha prayer was led by the Speaker of the Somali Parliament, Sheikh Adan Madoube, who is the country's current acting president in the absence of the President of the Republic, who is traveling aboard on a mission. Along with Prime Minister Hamza Abdi Bare and most other government officials, the population then dispersed to enjoy the Eid festivities. During this period, Somalis are keen to obtain sacrifice, sacrifice meat, often provided by charitable organizations that distribute it throughout the capital in Mogadishu.
shifting gears towards the international scene now in Mecca, pilgrims are seeking relief from the heat. Cooling systems have been used near Mount Arafat in Saudi Arabia to ease the pilgrims' discomfort from the intense heat coinciding with this year's Hajj pilgrimage around the Rahma Mercy Hill. High columns of water, mist sprayed, who gathered in Mecca for rituals for a day of worship, worship and reflection. Well, by this, our blood viewers, we finally conclude this edition. Thank you for being with us and make sure to tune in later for more. Have a wonderful evening. Take care.